Welcome to the California Academy of Sciences. My name is Grace Gornall. And I'm Mark Huang, and we're careers in science interns. On March 28, 2007, the California Academy of Sciences Science Council approved the publication of an official evolution statement. This statement explains that the California Academy of Sciences, with its mission to explore, explain, and protect the natural world, recognizes that evolution is fundamental to understanding biological diversity, and it is an organizing principle for scientific research and science museums, like our own. We are curious why an institution like ours felt the need to publish a statement about evolution. Why did we write it? Who was it written for? And why now? We thought we would start by talking to one of the authors of the Academy's evolution statement, Carol Tang. Well, I think because at the California Academy of Sciences, we know that everything we do is based in evolution. And in fact, even in the early years of the Academy, we went out to the Galapagos to study evolution. And so I think we all knew that, but we thought that with the chance of having a brand new museum and having the world's eyes on us, that it was time to sort of make that statement so that everybody knew about it. What we all kind of knew, it wasn't a secret, we just didn't broadcast it. And now was our chance to sort of let everybody know that evolution is very important to us and to the general public. So now we understood why exhibits about evolution are on the public floor. But what about behind the scenes? What are the ways that Academy researchers study evolution? The theory of evolution uh, states that uh, creatures change and modify through time. And when I go to the field to recover fossil data, fossil information, what I do is I go to see the snapshots of our evolutionary history as a family, the homo sapiens and their family hominins, and get snapshots of our different stages of development in time. The fact that they are changing through time clearly supports the theory of evolution. Dr. Lensiged showed us how evolutionary concepts are important to anthropologists studying the evolution of humans over time. Our next stop was Jack Dumbacher, who could show us evidence of evolution in the Academy's collections. We have one of the largest collections of Galapagos animals anywhere in the world, and they've been studied very heavily. And I think, I think that there are a lot of aspects of the Galapagos that make them really useful for studying evolution. One, they're isolated. You know, it's a, two, it's a, it's a relatively simple and closed system that's not being affected by systems outside. Mm -hmm. It's far enough away from the mainland that we don't see a lot of other species coming in. And so we have a small number of species that basically um, have landed on the island and then diversified into many niches. What's neat is that, that evolution actually makes predictions. So we have ideas about how closely related these organisms are and how old they are. And we can look at the genes and we can ask how distantly related are they and you know we can we can say that this group is obviously more closely related based on their their plumage and you know this group of the Camarincas are, are more distantly related and the DNA actually supports those. The last person we spoke to was Dr. John Haffernick, an entomologist and professor at San Francisco State University. John is also the president of the Academy and serves on the Science Council, the group that worked on and approved the evolution statement. Darwin came up with the, the basic understanding of the, what drives evolution almost 150 years ago now. And yet it's remained controversial in a number of aspects of society. It relatively quickly became accepted in the scientific community, especially the idea of things having shared a common ancestry and evolved over time. We want the, the uh, museum visiting public to know how important this contribution was to the understanding of science and biology. Well, I think our questions were answered. With our new building and reopening, we now understand more about how evolution is a unifying concept in biology and its importance to the scientific research being conducted at the California Academy of Sciences.